Do you know that the weight of your tractor and the air pressure in the tires can have a major impact on the performance efficiency? It may take some time and effort, but a properly ballasted tractor will save you money through maximum productivity while using the least amount of fuel as possible. In part one of this video series, I will show you how to choose the appropriate weight split, determine the desired total tractor weight, and identify the amount of weight to be carried by each axle. Ballasting information can be found in section 75 of the operator's manual. Two pieces of information are needed to begin calculating the ballast for your tractor. First, you need to find the recommended weight split. This is the percentage of the total tractor weight that is carried by each axle and is determined by the type of tractor and implement that is attached. For an example, we'll be using a 9620R with a towed implement. You can see towed implements on this tractor require 51 to 55% of the total weight on the front axle and 49 to 45% on the rear. I suggest to aim for a weight split in the middle of the given range. So in this case, I'm aiming for 53% on the front and 47% on the rear. The second piece of information you need is the total desired weight of the tractor. This is given in the OM as weight per horsepower and is determined by the ground speed you intend to operate at. Take the weight per horsepower at the desired ground speed and multiply it by the horsepower of your tractor. Nine family tractors use rated engine horsepower while seven and eight family tractors use rated PTO horsepower. Just like weight split, aim for the middle of the given range. For this example, we'll be operating at five miles per hour, which gives me a total desired weight of 64,480 pounds. Now some tractors have a maximum ballast limit in the operator's manual that should not be exceeded. In this case, the maximum ballast limit for a 9620R is 60,000 pounds. So instead of 64,480 pounds, my desired weight is just 60,000 pounds. Now that we know the desired total tractor weight and the desired weight split, we can determine exactly how much weight is needed on each axle. There is a worksheet in the OM that can be used to complete these calculations. To find the desired front axle weight, we multiply the front weight split by the total desired tractor weight to determine the front axle weight. This gives us 31,800 pounds for our example. To determine the rear axle weight, we subtract the front axle weight from the total desired tractor weight. Before we go any further, we need to verify that the desired weight on each axle does not exceed the load carrying capacity of the tires. You can do this by finding the tire load index printed on the tire sidewall. There is a table in section 80 of the OM that states the maximum load per tire for each load index rating, our 9620R. For example, we will assume the tractor is equipped with dual 870R38 tires, which have a load index of 173. You can see that each tire can carry 12,610 pounds. So four times 12,610 gives you 50,440 pounds per axle, which is more than adequate to carry our desired axle weight that we calculated earlier. You can see with a little math, you're now able to choose the appropriate weight split, determine the desired total tractor weight, and identify the amount of weight to be carried by each axle. This information will be used as we determine the amount of ballast that we will need to add, which is covered in part two of this video series.